At the end of the day, what's important is that goal, where you want to be at, what goal it is that you want to set for yourself so that you can break financial freedom. And ultimately, that's how I was able to break financial freedom, guys, just putting in that work, staying consistent. And now the ATM business has allowed me to build more opportunities, right? Build more opportunities, work on my digital marketing businesses, work on, on different other businesses that it wouldn't have been possible if I didn't start off with one simple ATM. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live training, guys. It's Juan Geronimo, CEO of ATMtogether.com. Guys, this tonight is going to be a special one. If you guys are here, it's more than likely because you want to see how you how to build up your ATM business to ten thousand dollars a month, guys. I've been able to do it. Paul's been able to do it. Our current processor, Mike's been able to do it. And a lot more of our students have been able to do and hit this milestone, guys. For those of you guys that don't know me, I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys a quick background on me, how I got started with the ATM business, how I ended up here right now talking to you guys, and ultimately what qualifies me to help you guys out with the ATM business, guys. So before we get started, let me go ahead and drop the quick background on you guys. Now, first and foremost, again, my name is Juan Geronimo. I am currently 26 years old based out of Texas, and I currently have over 25 ATMs generating me over $10,000 a month in passive income. Now, before I got started, before I was able to be in this position, I was just like any one of you guys. I was a beginner. I was an you know, aspiring entrepreneur. I was working a nine to five. I was working part time. I was ultimately working and trading time for money to get to where I am currently at today. So. Whenever I started uh, my whole entrepreneurship or uh, aspiring entrepreneurship, um, I was working a nine to five. Um, this was probably five years ago. I was working in the oil fields of West Texas, working hundreds of hours a week, guys. I, I kid you not, my longest day of work was about 21 hours. So yeah, that's from like freaking three in the morning to like, you know, 12 at night and uh, the next day. So um Pretty much working in the oil fields taught me one big lesson. And that one lesson was, um, you know, your life and your your uh, family is not worth you going out there and trading your time for money, right? What's worth it is working hard so that you can, you know, better your family, provide, right? And, and the only way I was able to do that and the only way I thought about it was, you know, what am I going to do with all this money that I'm making? Because the whole purpose of me going to the oil fields was to make a lot of money, right? Um, but I put a lot of time. I traded a lot of time for it. So I started to, you know, think and, you know, try to see what it is that I wanted to do with my life because I did not want to be in the oil fields every single day, every single year of my life. So I started to save up my money. I started to, you know, think about different ways to invest. And, you know, I came into, I, I came onto the vending machine business. Now I started looking into it, but long story short, guys, ATMs turned out to be way, way better than vending machines, right? Vending machines, it's a great business. And I give props to everybody out there that owns a vending machine, but going out there and buying product like the chips and the juices and candies and chocolates, that just wasn't it for me, right? I didn't really want to put in all that time. I wanted to put my money somewhere, let it work for me, and I can go out and be with the family. So that is exactly how I ended up finding out about the ATM business. Now, with the ATM business, guys, as you guys know, it's as simple as buying an ATM, putting some money in there, and allowing this ATM to start generating you passive income. So with that being said, guys, this was about four years ago when I started my company, and I finally started with my first ATM. Guys, in February, literally not even a month of creating my business, I started generating 250 bucks in passive income. Whenever I saw that, it wasn't that much. It's 250 a month, but it'll cover my phone bill. But guys, whenever I started seeing money come in that I did not have to go and trade my time for, it was only off to the races. It only motivated me to go out and get more and more and more locations. So fast forward the first year, guys, I ended up landing anywhere near between four to six locations. My second year, another four to six. And fast forward to four years, guys, and I actually slowed down. But um now, four years later, over 25 ATMs currently on location, guys, generating me passive income, guys. And there you go. Now I'm here uh, taking over ATM together, helping you guys out, dropping a bunch of gems for you guys, teaching you guys the way that I started whenever I started my ATM business and looking forward to helping every single one of you guys out. Now, for everyone that, that heard me out real quick, if you guys want 
our newest ATM CEO ATM guide, go ahead and comment right now, ATM. Go ahead and comment ATM right now, and we are going to go ahead and send you over my newest 2024 ATM business guide. It's going to pretty much give you everything you need to know from A to Z on starting your ATM business. It's a great way to get into the business, to learn a little bit about it, and ultimately see if this is even the business that you want to target, right? Because you're just doing your research, right? So go ahead and comment ATM. I see a couple of you guys commenting ATM. Go ahead and comment ATM. Let us know that you want a guide, and we'll go ahead and send that over to you. Now, guys, I want to go ahead and give a big announcement. We have reached 90,000 90, members, guys. It's surprising to me. Uh, whenever I joined um, ATM Business for Beginners, we were only like at two, 3,000 members. Now we're at 90,000 members, guys. And I am, you know, more than happy to be part of this. Be more than ha um, I'm more than happy to be here and be able to help every single one of you guys learn all about the ATM business, guys. So everybody, clap it up. Drop, drop a couple emojis in the chat right now. A couple uh, hand claps. Let us, you know, let us know that you're excited for what the future holds, guys. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and go over the first lesson, guys. How to build a $10,000 a month ATM business. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys a quick rundown on how I was able to generate from 250 my first location, to $10,000 a month with 25 plus locations. So as you guys know, this might sound a little cliche, guys, um, but it's true, right? You have to put in the work right? You have to put in the work. You have to have the right mentality to go out there and put in that work. Guys, I kid you not, I have probably um, a couple hundred locations that I visited where I was just told no, right? And at the end of the day, I did not let that demotivate me from going out and continuing to scale my ATM business. So that's number one. Being able to work on your mentality, being able to stay consistent and continue to move forward with your goals, guys. And that's the ultimate goal, right? I run into so many people where they're like, oh my God, I've been doing this for three months and I still haven't found a location. Guys, I it, it's took me uh, one month to find my first location, but after my second location, guys, it took me like three months to find that second one. So, I mean, there you go. You know, sometimes it could be easy, but sometimes it could be a little difficult, but it's all about you putting in that work and staying consistent, right? After my first location generating me $250 a month, guys, I stayed consistent and I didn't give up. My first year, I was probably only making like $1,000 to $2,000 a month, which was still not enough to sustain my lifestyle, to, to get me to, to financial freedom, which is what I wanted. But I knew that if I kept putting in that work and I didn't give up, I was eventually going to get there. Now, guys, four years later down the line, I kept putting in that work. I kept landing deals after deals after deals. And now over 25 ATMs currently generating me $10,000 a month. Now think about it, guys. Whenever you land ATMs for your portfolio, you want to be able to land a location that's generating you anywhere near 100 to 350 bucks a month. That is about average, right? A lot of people are trying to aim for those $1,000, $2,000 locations that sometimes they turn down locations that could potentially generate them 250 Guys, the average ATM generates you about 250 right? Um, every now and then you may find yourself a gold mine that does about $1,000, $2,000 a month. But guys, those are a little harder to find, but they are still out there, guys. I just landed one the other day. I actually currently, and, and it's one of my mobile units too, and I'll get to that in just a second. But keep, keep staying consistent. Keep landing deals, keep landing deals, and eventually you're going to reach that mark. Now, guys, do your math. At the end of the day, you don't have to have $10,000 as your goal, right? You can do 15, 20. You can keep going, guys. It doesn't matter. One of our great, great um, friends here at uh, ATM Business for Beginners, Mike. If you're watching, Mike, go ahead and go ahead and let us know in the comments. Mike, for example, he's been in the game for such a long time. He he he's he has over a hundred ATMs currently in his portfolio. Guys, he could have easily stopped when he reached the 10K. But guess what? It's all about how bad do you want it. It's all about how how much work are you willing to put into yourself. And this is how easily you can generate $10,000 a month with the ATM business. Now, guys, don't forget, this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme, guys. You Don't don't expect to go into this business, land your first ATM, and start generating $10,000 a month. That's not how it works, guys. It's probably how – that's not how any business works. But 
if you keep putting in that work, you keep landing deals. And you know, the great thing about the ATM business, one thing that we like to talk about is how it's such a great business because it is a, um, a mobile asset, right? It's, uh, um, what's the, it's mobile, right? So pretty much what you could do is you'll place an ATM. If it doesn't work out, boom, take it out, go find another location. That's the great thing about the ATM business. You don't have to necessarily set an ATM at a permanent location, right? Um, it's a ta it's a tangible asset, guys. Number one, that's number one, right? You you spend about twenty five hundred bucks on an ATM. Let's say you place it at a location and it's doing less than a hundred bucks, and you're not happy with that. Guess what? Number one, it's not going to decrease in value because that ATM is generating you income. All you have to do, it's a floating asset. Move it into another business and allow it to start generating you more assets, right? I mean, uh, more profits, sorry. So that's the great thing about the ATM business. And that's the way how you're going to be able to reach 10K a month, right? Like I said, guys, it took me four years, four years to get to $10,000 a month. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to take you four years. It may take you less or it may take you more. But at the end of the day, what's important is that goal, right? Where you want to be at, right? What goal it is that you want to set for yourself so that you can break financial freedom. And ultimately, that's how I was able to break financial freedom, guys. Just putting in that work, staying consistent. And now the ATM business has allowed me to build more opportunities, right? Build more opportunities, work on my digital marketing businesses, work on, on different other businesses that it wouldn't have been possible if I didn't start off with one simple ATM. Guys, now, if you guys enjoyed that, guys, go ahead and drop right now asset, asset, A-S-S-E. Go ahead and drop asset in the comments right now if you guys like that. Let's go ahead and jump into lesson number two, right? How to find ATMs or mobile ATMs in your area.